A man in custody today in Boulder after what started as a road rage incident in Broomfield then turned into a carjacking and then a police chase. It all ended at a bus stop. Quite the story. Nine News reporter Matt Jablo joins us now from Boulder. And Matt, it, it took a while for police to really untangle everything that happened here. It did, Kim, because as you and Tom laid out, there were a lot of moving parts this morning, fast moving parts. It all started around 6 o'clock this morning near the intersection of Highways 36 and 121 in Broomfield. That's where police say two people were involved in a road rage incident. According to cops, one of the drivers who was driving a stolen car got out of that car with a gun and carjacked somebody in a third car, a white truck. He then headed west in the truck towards Boulder. The truck was spotted about an hour later driving erratically on Pearl Street. Boulder police say when officers responded, the suspect pulled out a gun but did not fire the gun. But officers did fire at the suspect, though it does not appear he was hit. The alleged carjacker continued driving through Boulder until he flattened all of his tires running over stop sticks that police had put down. Officers were then able to stop the truck near a bus stop on Table Mesa Drive, and the suspect was taken into custody. Lee Troop, a former Olympic marathon runner who's now a running coach in Boulder, saw the truck being followed by a long line of police cars just before the suspect was arrested. Yeah, and as I said, it happened so quick, um, but so slow. And as the car was swerving, there's four lanes on Table Mesa and I was pulled to one side and it got within a lane to me. And so I could see the person driving and, you know, driving erratically to obviously escape the police. And then there was just 30, 40 cars behind, you know, Sheriff's Department, CU Boulder, the police, Boulder Police Department, and they were a car length behind. Fortunately and miraculously, no one was hurt during the incident. We still don't know what led up to the road rage, and police have not yet released the name of the suspect. Kim and Tom. Oh, it was quite the day. I know. I remember hearing this this morning going, what? It was a lot, a lot to go through, Matt. All right, thank you.